Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee, weather in five, five days and five minutes on this Thursday, November the 7th, 2019. And uh, we'll start off with this uh, weather system that's approaching. And uh, for the snow lovers, this is really kind of a big yawn here. We're looking at a general snowfall uh, from uh, West Virginia, some of the mountains in West Virginia. We're talking about just a coating to an inch there, northeastward. You know, north central northwestern pennsylvania an inch or two or maybe a few spots so some locally higher amounts you get up into western new york but as far as uh the area from northeast virginia right through southern new england uh, there really isn't anything here i mean you might see might see a brief change over uh to snow maybe into the northwestern counties of New Jersey, for example, or perhaps uh, in the Hudson Valley in northwest Connecticut. But you got to go way up north of Route 84 uh, to see anything at all. And even as, as you get further north into northeastern New York and up into northern New England, we're only talking about maybe a one to three inch snowfall here, and that's just about it. I've been uh, thinking that the uh, temperatures were the bigger story here, and that continues to be the case. So uh, when we look at uh, what to expect as far as uh, temperatures uh, for uh, today, we're going to warm up actually quite nicely. Uh, getting into the 60s in northeast Virginia, upper 50s uh, all the way up to uh, southern New England. Uh, and then you go north and west of there as you get closer to where the frontal boundary is. And we're looking at temperatures mostly in the upper 30s and low 40s. This is the first of two cold shots here that's com that's coming down. Uh, the second one is going to be more impressive uh, than the first one. And the first one's not too shabby either for the first part of November. So temperatures tomorrow in the 30s to around 40 in northeast Virginia to southern New England. Actually, might be more in the lower 40s when you get down into the Washington, D.C., Baltimore area and northeast Virginia. But if you head up... Uh, into Connecticut, uh, upstate New York, uh, into uh, Massachusetts, Rhode Island. You're talking about temperatures topping out mid to upper 30s, even a few spots, depending on elevation, not getting up above uh, 30. And then Saturday morning is going to be very cold. Actually, even Friday morning is going to be very cold. I'm going to, uh, let's jump back to Friday. Uh, so uh, tomorrow morning, we're looking at 20s and low 30s, the, uh, all the way down uh, to the coast. And then when we get to Saturday morning, it's going to be teens and 20s just about everywhere. So uh, the uh, issue today is rain. We have this frontal boundary that is uh, moving right along here. And uh, that is uh, coming to the east and will bring with it uh, some uh, uh, some rain. Uh, the rain is showing up uh, on the radar. You can see we are high is offshore now, so we're getting a warmer flow today ahead of that front. And behind it, you've got temperatures that are in the 20s, teens, and even some single digits down to near zero up in through Dakota. So it's a, it's a fairly solid shot of cold air. There's that moisture. you got this long stream on the jet stream uh, coming out uh, from uh, Mexico, from Baja, California, running northeast. So there's a fairly, there's a, there's a decent tropical feed of moisture here, but uh, it's moving along and it really isn't going to uh, be anything more than just a front with a uh, flat wave on it. And as of 8 a.m. Eastern time, this is what it looks like on the uh, radar. So we've got some lead rains coming in now. And then the main area is going to wait until uh, this afternoon into the first part of tonight. And by the way, in terms of rainfall amounts, we're talking about maybe, you know, a quarter to a third of an inch of rain by the time this all plays out here. It happens quick. It gets out of the way and then it's done. So our uh, front uh, is um, on the coast. This is by one o'clock this afternoon. The front is very close to the coast and so is the rain comes in temperatures start to fall you can see that the area of snow behind this on the gfs anyway is extremely unimpressive it's probably it's a little bit more robust on the nam model and then it goes out and here comes this high for tomorrow with very very cold air uh, you know we're getting straight uh, winds coming down from the north behind this and uh, that's going to take our temperatures down uh, tonight and tomorrow and into tomorrow night and early Saturday. Then we're going to see those temperatures bounce up on Sunday as the high moves out. So we should be back up in the 50s. Other than high clouds, I don't see any real issues here 
uh, over the weekend. Uh, the GFS does pop up a, a little patch of uh, scattered shower or snow shower in northeastern Pennsylvania. That's that warmer air trying to arrive, a warm front. So Sunday will be in the 50s. Now, here comes that next frontal boundary. It'll move through on Monday, stall out to our south, and we're going to go through this all over again uh, as we uh, head into Tuesday of next week. I just don't know yet whether models have really worked out how this is going to play uh, for for early next week. I think the sh chance for snow with this looks a bit better than um, a bit higher, I should say, uh, than um, what what's happening how this, this first weather system is playing out. And then behind us is some really, really cold air. That high is very impressive coming down. And, I mean, we're talking freezing temperatures that are going to get down. This is by um, Wednesday morning. You've got the freezing line all the way down to uh, almost to Houston, New Orleans, uh, across uh, southern Georgia to coastal South Carolina, 20s. Uh, down into uh, North Georgia, North Alabama, North Mississippi. Um, and uh, it's quite possible we could see that air be even colder and a little bit further to the south, depending on how uh, this next weather system for early next week plays out. So uh, get ready for some rain. And uh, for those of you that are watching from colder areas, uh, you saw on the snow map how much you're going to get, and it's not very much at all. So uh, we advise you to have a very good day today. Oh, don't forget the weather apps and make sure you got them. Uh, the meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app, uh, the Angry Ben weather app, the Angry Weatherman, they're both free. Uh, so download them from Google Play or on the App Store, although uh, Angry Ben's app is not yet available for iPhones. But we're hoping uh, before the winter really gets underway that that app uh, is available. Our regular live, live stream coming up tonight on my YouTube channel at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, and we'll have website posts throughout the day. Have a good one, everybody.